Today's video will demonstrate how to create a flowchart from existing code. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. A flowchart is a powerful tool to allow us to visualize how complex code works. This is particularly important when that code involves complex decisions, which flowcharts are particularly good at representing. So this video will demonstrate how to take some existing code, turn into a flowchart, and from that be able to understand better how it works. We'll start with the following C code. Now we'll start with main, and main is based on where the program starts. And then we have all these variable declarations. And since flowcharts represent logic and not data stores, we're going to skip those. And then we have printf and getline, which is prompt for a password. And then we have an if statement. We have an if statement to see if the password and the user input match. And then we have the no, and then we have the yes. So let's take a look at the yes. And then we'll have our print, you are authenticated and then stop. But what happens if no? Well, then we're going to add one to our attempts, and then we're going to have another decision to see if we are less than 50. If we are less than 50, we'll prompt again, and this is how a while loop works. Remember, loops in flowcharts loop back up, or the error goes upstream. And if the answer is no, then it will print an error message and end as well. From this flowchart, we can see a couple things. First of all, there are two decisions. One there is to see if we match or not and we're authenticated. And the second is to see if we shall continue our loop. Next is take a look at some Python code and let's generate the flow chart from that. So we start with initializing the game and then while true. So we're always going to loop back on ourselves. And then we have a for loop in between here. And how do we know if we want to go? If there's more events. If there are events, then we're going to see if we quit. If we quit, then we'll exit. If it's a key down event, then we will move. Otherwise, we'll loop back on ourselves. Now, what do we do if there's no events? Then we're going to update the game and then draw the board. When we're finished here, we can see there are three decision points. The first one is to see if we're going to continue looping. The second one is to see if we quit. And the third one is to see if we have a key down event. And there's only one stop condition. That stop condition is if we quit. This is example 01.1 .1 and 01.2 in the flowchart chapter of the software design textbook.